Hello and welcome to Meadowvale. Over the next few minutes I'm going to be telling you more about Meadowvale Secondary School and our International Business Technology Program. At any point please pause the video to get all the information on the slides. Here at Meadowvale we have about 1100 students and 67 staff members. We're proud to offer three specialist high school major programs in addition to our IBT program and our language arts and athletic programs are extensive. Please take a minute to watch this video from our staff and students using the bit.ly provided. What are regional learning choice programs? RCLPs empower students by providing an opportunity to develop and explore skills in a particular area of interest. At Meadowvale, we're proud to offer the International Business and Technology Program. The International Business and Technology Program is an innovative regional learning choice program based on 21st century skills, teaching Ontario curriculum through the lens of business and technology. Students not only gain knowledge, but acquire the skills to apply their learning in innovative new contexts. Hey everybody, welcome to Meadowville Secondary School. Come with me. So, this is the Meadowville for you. This is where your IBC journey begins. Well, so what is IBT? Well, IBT is the International Business and Technology Program. IBT really challenges your 21st century skills, those soft skills that are so important in the future. So here we are, welcome to Meadowville. Enhancements of the program include field trips and experiential learning opportunities, guest speakers, conferences, and the use of cutting-edge technology within the classroom. To find out more information about the IBT program at Meadowvale, please visit the Meadowvale Secondary School webpage where you'll also find links to the IBT program, our website, and some FAQ documents. Applications for all regional choice learning programs open on November 9th at 8.30 a.m. and will close November 23rd at 8.30 a.m. Applications will be available on the Peel District School Board Regional Programs website. Please note that no applications will be accepted after 8.30 a.m. on November 23rd. Once in the system, make sure you choose the correct school and program of which you're wanting to apply. If you're not sure what schools and programs you are eligible to apply for, use the Find Your School link available on the Peel District School Board website, enter your home address, and it will give you a list of all the regional programs available to you within your school boundary. Once in the application, you will be prompted to tell us some more information about you. On the left-hand side is parent information, and on the right-hand side is student information. Please ensure that the email addresses submitted are correct, as this will be the primary mode of communication throughout the application process. In addition to the personal information, students are required to answer three questions as part of the application process. These responses should be written by the student and should be answering the questions listed below. These questions are used as part of the determination of the applicant's success in the process. Medavel offers 87 academic spaces in our IBT program. Admission decisions are based on marks and learning skills from grades 7 and 8 progress reports as well as the written responses submitted by the student. Once you've successfully applied to the IBT program, you will receive a confirmation email after submitting your application online. If you do not receive an email, please reach out to the schools after 24 hours has passed. Note that there is a $40 application fee. Applications will not be processed until the fee is paid. 
Financial supports are available to families who may be in need. Please reach out to the principals of the school for any assistance that might be required. For program fees assistance, please reach out to your principal after being accepted into the program. As part of the Peel District School Board's commitment to equity inclusion for all, students who self-identify as African, Black, First Nations, Inuit, and Métis, and who meet the criteria for admission into the IBT program will be accepted into the program without participating in the random selection process. Applicants who meet the criteria for the IBT program will be automatically entered into the random selection process or the lottery. This process is completed centrally at the board level and not at the individual schools. Please note those who've self-identified as African, Black, First Nations, Inuit, and Métis will not be participating in the random selection process. Students who are not within the Peel region or are new to Peel can still apply for a regional choice learning program after all the spots are first accommodated for our local students. Please note that report cards will need to be emailed to the schools directly, unlike our Peel students whose report cards will be uploaded automatically. The application deadline is November 23, 2020, and offers will be emailed to successful applicants on February 1st after 3 p.m. Note that all regional choice learning program offers will take place on this date. Students may receive multiple offers on this date. First round offers must be accepted no later than February 8th at 3 p.m. After that point, any remaining spots will be offered in our second round. Second round offers will take place on February 9th after 3 p.m. Please reply to the offer email you received by the deadline in order to reserve your spot in the IBT program. You will be prompted to pay your annual IBT program fee at this time. Students will only be officially admitted into the program once the program fees are received. Please note that transportation is not provided in regional programs. Parents and students are responsible for organizing and arranging their own transportation to and from school. On November 4th, between 7 and 8 p.m., we will be hosting a virtual presentation and live Q&A session. More information will be posted on the board and school websites later in the month, so please check regularly. Thanks for listening. If you have any further questions, please reach out at the websites and email addresses below.